I guess there is still a lot of worry. And actually, the headlines do look uh, slightly oakish to me. The vote, 7 to 2, uh, the uh, expectation of a less severe recession, giving perhaps a bit more room to maneuver to the Bank of England, and this persistent uh, uncertainty uh, over the medium-term inflation uh, outlook. There's a big if, of course, if there is more signs and evidence of a wage price, uh, price spiral in particular, the, the Bank of England will hike further. Uh, but as a matter of fact, the starting point with over 7% wage growth, 7% services CPI inflation is very, very high and much higher than in many other countries in Europe. So I think it's uh, rather an oakish uh, statement at the margin. We'll see how it goes with the press conference. So that is what they're trying to mm. Interesting think. interpretation, Frederic Schumana over here, uh, standing outside the Bank of England. I think some people thought because they had dropped the forward guidance, the language about acting forcefully, it perhaps is slightly less hawkish than, than uh, some mar market participants had uh, been anticipating. One thing I do want to ask you, though, is whether we are in danger of entering into too restrictive monetary policy. I think it's interesting also to note with these inflation forecasts that in 2024, they actually have inflation dropping to 1.5 percentage points, and that's one contingent on market interest rates. They peak at 4.5 percentage points this year, but even with 4.5 percentage points, they have inflation below target. Do you think that perhaps that is the case, that the Bank of England are, are nearing on too restrictive a policy right now? It's possible, of course. I mean, the Bank of England is facing the perfect storm still. It's uh, like uh, a similar situation than in other countries in the US and the euro area, but much worse, given the starting point, as I said, for wage growth uh, and core inflation, which is higher, given the, uh, given the aftermath of uh, Brexit uncertainty and everything that is, comes on top of this energy crisis. Look, we, we, we are all facing the same situation. Central banks are getting closer to neutral or even restrictive uh, policy rates, at this point, we are all expecting them to go, I mean, move on more carefully in a more data dependent way. That's not the surprise to me. The surprise is more like uh, the uh, outlook for the economy, which is looking a bit more resilient than expected, when nothing has changed that much on the inflation front. So I'm fully aware of this uh, uh, you know, forward guidance that was uh, expected to be adjusted at some point. We know that there are lags in the transmission of monetary policy. And again, at 4%, it's already probably restrictive for the UK economy overall. But there's also a lot of uncertainty given the uh, path for uh, inflation, both short term and medium term. And who knows where will inflation be in 2024 when we don't even know how to forecast inflation in the next few months.